Hey folks, welcome to 7660 Lakefield, Louisville, Ohio. This is in Nimishillen Township. It's on a nice quiet street. Pan around the neighborhood here and show you. I'm Todd Bosley. I'm a licensed real estate agent and auctioneer in the state of Ohio. This is currently for sale by owner or for rent to own is what I'm actually trying to do here. So many of you that follow my channel know that I buy houses and provide opportunities to people to be able to rent them. Uh, you rent them for so long and then you have the opportunity to buy them. That's how it works. Uh, we got a dumpster in here and got this house cleaned out. Um, the house does need a little bit of work. I'll tell you that right up front. It may not be for everybody, but it will be for somebody. That's for sure. It's got an updated septic system in it. It's got a nice yard out back. I'll show you that. It's a swimming pool that needs some work here. But let's go in and check it out. Okay, so this just recently came available today. We have not done any work on it. This is the living room. The carpet is older. I'll tell you that. It does have a hole here in the carpet. You can see right there. Nice trim, though. Nice, uh, nice setup here. The blinds aren't open, but I'll give you a little shout out the front window there. Uh, most of the windows are updated. I'll try not to go too fast here. And my lighting might be a little challenging. This is the bathroom. I'll take you in here. Turn the light on. So this is the bathtub. So that's modern. It's got a nice, actually pretty nice tub in it. This is the toilet and then the vanity here. So the bathroom looks like it needs a little bit of work. There's a little bit of paint work there that needs done, but overall not too bad. It does have some storage here in it. Take you back out into the hallway. This is a three bedroom. The three bedrooms are on this side. Um, most of the flooring has been updated in the bedrooms. Um, this is a little bit on the smaller side of a bedroom, but not too bad. Has a closet, as you can see there. And we'll go into this room. This has updated flooring. This is a little bit bigger bedroom. And it does have two closets in it. There's one closet. And there's a big closet over here. And a nice ceiling fan. This is in pretty good shape. We'll go back to the down the hallway here. Now we're going to go into the third bedroom. Turn the light on. This one has a ceiling fan as well. And a nice closet. You can see there it has a window you can see out in the backyard okay now i'm going to take you down the hallway we're going to go back through the living room this is where we started now we're going to walk into the kitchen so this is kind of like the dining area right here you can see out the back window of course the windows have not been cleaned um, the property still needs some work it does come with a free hot tub though and uh, of course, this is the place here for the stove. Over here would be where the refrigerator is. I'll just kind of slowly pan around so you can take a look at it. So this is the kitchen. Um, we're gonna go to the back here now. There's a, it kind of gets a little, little different here. This is a storage room and I haven't been able to find the light to turn it on. But if you can kind of see, this is, has a door on it that just shuts. As you can see here but the big storage room so you have room for a lot of different things and the furnace actually sits at the far back there well, the furnace furnace is there then we go into uh, what is probably like the first floor laundry to start out with you have that but then it kind of uh, you get the water the um, this is the water softener and the brine tank behind it and the hot water tank so that's all kind of there. And then this is a to-be bathroom. That's how I would describe it. It's meant to be a bathroom. Uh, we have one good bathroom. This has a sink that's not finished. It has a shower that doesn't have a shower head. Um, probably usable uh, without a whole lot of work. And then we have a toilet that obviously needs to have a seat and some water supply and all that. So like I said before, nothing's perfect. I like to show the imperfections of the house. I don't try to hide what it is because it is what it is and a little bit of sweat equity will go a long way in a house like this so here you can see this room definitely needs a floor uh, it has a nice what appears to be gas fireplace in this is a fairly big room it does have its own entrance here so um but again we're we will need a little bit of repair we've got some drywall issues up here i see and 
again, there's just cobwebs and stuff. It's just, you know, time for a good cleaning. It looks like they did a little bit of patchwork here on the wall. So, again, it's, it's the typical story. Some paint, some flooring, some of that kind of stuff. Now we're going to go into the garage. Kind of a standard one-car garage. Maybe a, maybe a little overbuilt. You can see it kind of goes over here. But they, they took some of the garage for the storage room. So that's, that's why you have such a large storage room. But uh, upgraded electric. There's lots of storage out here in the garage. There's a door there that goes out. And then this is the panel box. So you can take a look at that and see. There you go. Okay, we're going to head outside now. Just in one second. Okay, here we are. We're out back. Um, we're going to walk to... Now we're going down the side of the garage. So the backyard's going to need some work. And if you're looking for something that's perfect and ready to go, this is not the house for you. But if you're not afraid to do a little bit of work... And you want to have a nice uh, house in a great school district, this is it. They have a fence. Apparently they had like a dog. There's some sticks on the roof. But overall, I mean, this is your backyard. It's nice and quiet. You can already hear the crickets. Uh, definitely need some cleanup. We got a pool over here. And this pool's in, I think it's actually in pretty good shape. It just needs somebody to take care of it. It's pretty late in the year for a pool. You can see the back of the house here. I'll take you up on the deck. It's got a nice deck on it. And there's the swimming pool. Of course, it's going to need drained and refilled and all of that. But again, it's a super nice neighborhood. The roof on the house looks good. There's a tree back here that probably needs to be trimmed up. It does come with its own storage building. I'll take you in that in a minute. And I don't know if this is like a little playhouse slash, uh, you know, pool uh, building, but... That's there also. Just a little bit of miscellaneous junk laying around. I'll show you down this side of the house. It doesn't really appear like there's anything majorly wrong here. Uh, there were people living here up until today, so they're just not here anymore. I'll take you over here and show you the building. And there is a mess in the backyard here. But again, you got a nice backyard. You can see the neighbors around here really take care of their houses, so... I'm sure the neighbors would appreciate it if somebody could move in here and take care of this. But you got corn in the back. And you got a mess here. Although you got some firewood. And you are able, I believe, to have at least somewhat of a, like weenie roasts or cookouts with, uh, with wood. I think you have to call the fire department. Not sure if the tractor is going to stay or not. That may become part of the deal. It may not. I, d I don't know that it runs. I'll take you in the building here real quick. Oh, well, if I can get it open. There we go. So here you have a barn that has a cement floor in it. And there's multiple things inside of here. We'll start working on cleaning some of it out. And we'll see how it goes. So kind of the way this deal works is that we will agree on what I'm going to do and we'll agree what you're going to do and we'll base our price on that. So we'll actually set a price and we'll say the house price is going to be this much money. And then we're going to agree on a monthly rent price. And on that monthly rent price, we're going to also agree how much is going to come off each time you make a rent payment off of the amount that we agree to sell the house to you for. So there's a lot of factors that go into it and it depends on what you're looking to have done and what you can do yourself. It's a good opportunity for somebody. This is a good area. It's a good neighborhood. There's a lot of good people here. The property just needs some cleanup. It's functional. It looks sturdy. I'm going to take you back inside just one more time. Just give you a little, one more quick little run through. Again, this is the front of the house. The dumpster here will be gone soon. So you've got a nice front yard, you got a nice backyard, you got an updated septic. And you walk in, this is how you come into the house. And uh, the carpet's going to need something done with it. Maybe you put wood, maybe you put laminate, something like is in the kitchen here. It's totally up to you. But a good opportunity for somebody, if you're looking. So my name is Todd Bosley, my number is 330 
323-9775. And I'm looking for rent, rent to own or possible outright cash sale if it's something you're looking for. This is for sale by owner. It is not, uh, not part of the brokerage that I work for. This is a property that I own and an LLC that I, that I manage. And I'm looking for somebody that wants to live in Louisville. He's looking for a three bedroom with a nice yard and a house with a lot of potential. I will tell you there is no basement here. So this is this is not this does not have a basement. It's built on a slab. It's nice and solid and it's got lots of room to it. So if it's something you're looking for, I hope you'll give me a phone call or a text. My number is 330-323-9775. And again, the way we're gonna get to the price is we're gonna figure out what I have to do, what you have to do. And that's how we're going to arrive at the price of the house. If you come in and you can do the work, you can handle it from here, then we can make a deal you're going to love. Give me a call, folks. Thanks for watching. And watch this channel for future houses. I do have several more on the way uh, this year. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.